the last challenge that I have for you is to really work on you this year. And, and again, it, it's going to be a repetitive throughout this whole, um, this whole talk. You need to work on yourself. You are important. You are who matters. Regardless of what anybody says, you have to be selfish before you can be selfless. And, and, and it sounds like taboo, it sounds cringy or whatever, but we can't help others until we help ourselves. And so I really want you guys to really take the time to, help, to work on yourself. Work on understanding who you are, right? Not what people think of you, but who you are. Work on whether that's getting a coach, whether that's doing assessments, whatever it is. Work on really understanding who you are because it's not until you know who you are that you can truly move forward positively with purpose. We, you, everybody in here has a purpose. I'm not sure if whatever you're doing for a living is your purpose. It might not be. I'm not sure. But everybody has a purpose. But you're not going to be able to discover that purpose until you work on yourself. And, and when I say discover, I'm saying discover because, we, because our purpose is all inside of us. We, we all have a purpose. We were all born with a purpose. We don't have to find nothing. Words matter. And when people say, I'm just trying to find, I'm trying to find my man, or I'm trying to find my, the love of my life, or I'm trying to find my, my I'm, I'm trying to find the, my career. You don't have to find it. It's not out there. It's not like I'm going to go out and just find it over there at the corner by the grocery store. It, 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 you don't have to find it. It's all inside of you. You have to discover it. And you discover it by understanding who you are, by really working on yourself, by really listening to yourself. Like that gut feeling is real. And, and too often, we look back at it. We look back at, at, at the gut feeling, right? We say, I knew I shouldn't have done that. I knew I shouldn't have dated that guy. I knew I shouldn't have, you know, went to that meeting. I knew, or I knew I should. It's always, I knew I should, or I knew I shouldn't have. That means that before that thing happened, you got the feeling like, hmm, this might not be good. But you're like, eh, it's going to do it. Like, you know, and then you go do it, and it doesn't work out. And you're like, oh, you know. And so that gut feeling, that's you, yourself, telling yourself, what to do and what not to do. And we often like let it go and do our own thing, not realizing that we know ourselves better. And, like nobody knows ourselves better than ourselves. Your gut feeling, that gut feeling, nobody knows you better than that gut feeling. And so, and so when it's telling you, yeah, we have to listen to it. And so we have to, we, we have to get in, into a place where we are listening to ourselves and we're understanding ourselves if we really want to discover what that purpose is because that's going to then lead you to trying different things and those different things are going to open up whatever that purpose is because, again, we all have a purpose. We were all born with a purpose. We just have to discover it. First, you discover your gift, whatever that gift is, and then that gift will then lead to your purpose. My gift got me kicked out of the bus. Talking too much, whatever, telling people how I feel, whatever, whatever, because I had a gift and I didn't know how to use it, right? Now, fast forward a few years, not so many years, um, I'm here, and, 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 I, and, I, and now I discovered that that was the gift, and the purpose is to help impact lives with it. And that's what we're doing here today, right? We're helping impact lives with the gift. And so to do that, you have to start working on yourself. And we're going to get into, in, in, in a minute, we're going to get into a, um, a, 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 a quick little presentation um, on, on how you can work on starting to understand yourself. Um, because I, I think that that's key to being a successful year. We have to start the process of really getting to know um, who we are that is then going to help us understand who we are around. And that is really going to change our lives. Because we are raised with this idea of treat people the way you want to be treated. It sounds nice. Don't get me wrong. It sounds super cool. Treat people how you want to do you want to be treated. Well, you want that done to you? Don't do it to like, all that, you know, that's, and that, that, it sounds good. And there's nothing wrong with that. The problem is that everybody doesn't want to be treated the way that I'm treated. Right? When I see you, like I'm a hugger. Hey, what's going on? You know, and, I, and, I, and I'll give you a hug and whatever. And that's cool for me, but it might not be for you. And I need to know that. Because if I go to you and I try to hug you, you're not a hugger. You're like, oh, creep. <laughs> creep, what's going on here? I'm out, you know? And, and, and then you thinking, I'm like, you know, I'm, maybe I'm fresh or whatever. No, I'm not fresh. That's just the way that I am, right? And so we have to start to not only know who we are, but know the people that we're around because that's going to help us be more successful and really accomplish those goals. Not only in, 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 our, in our friendly life, but also like at work. If we work around people, we need to know who we're working around because everybody is different. Everybody's not going to want to go to happy hour. You might say, I'm, I'm good. I'm not, you know, and then you know what I'm going to do to you when you say you don't want to go to happy hour? Ah, come on, man. Don't, don't, don't be like that. Don't be such a, you know, whatever, party pooper. And I'm talking crap to you, right, because you don't want to go. That's just not who you are. But if I understand who you are, then I'm like, hey, we're going to go to happy hour. He's not going to go. It's cool. You know, whatever. And just and do that. Or we do happy hour for these people and then we do something else for you because you're, you, you might want to do something else, right? And so we have to start understanding who people are. And so rather than, rather than thinking treat people the way you want to be treated, we need to think treat people the way they deserve to be treated. 
according to who they are. But be smart about it, right? We're, we're, we're not saying, oh, he's, he's a jerk. I'm going to treat him like a jerk. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that understand that, like, I don't move as quick as you might want me to move, babe. So when you told me to throw the garbage out, I'm going to throw it out, but it's not going to be right now. I got you. I got you. I'm going to throw it out, but not right now. So please don't come back at me 15 minutes later and say, I'll tell you to So my girl, she knows, like, I, I, I kind of do it on my own time. And then I get it done. It's just it's, it's, it's when I'm ready. And it, it's not, I'm not doing it to be spiteful. That's just me. Like, I'm like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> sure, girl, I didn't do it. You know, and I, and I go do it, right? But once you understand who you're dealing with, then you don't get yourself all worked up thinking, oh, he just, he, he just being, you know, he's being a brat. He's being, you know, whatever. No, no, that's just who he is. And so the last challenge is for you guys to please work on understanding who you are. Work, work, on, work on understanding yourself because that's going to then help you move forward um, with these goals that you have.